pretty much every time out the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 258 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Big. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, commit to the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this count. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Yeah, he mixed it all up. Just a slip there. Right punch is there. Oh, collar tie. And they separate. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it. And he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Right under the elbow. Body kick lands. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And there comes the separation now. Oh, big knee! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Huge elbow there. He needs to start 
look at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Big body kick. All right, boy, Ty Clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Oh! oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. And you hear the crowd react every time they come together because they understand the power that these guys are striking with. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. Visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping, he's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he has taken. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. And he landed the right hand there. Right. Now look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC. And as far as flying knees go, that one was near perfection. Yeah, I mean, that was as perfectly timed as you're going to see a flying knee. He propelled himself off of the octagon canvas and landed that knee perfect. Got the knee to the target and really did hurt his opponent. Had him hurt, almost finished. Look at him on the stool. He's still wobbling. This round, I want you to put the pressure on him. Get right in his face. Lee gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Come on, bud. Let's get those well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Just over three minutes to go now. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Oh, an elbow! up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, he's got the hooks in DC working off of his back. Now I look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Just out of range with the big right hand. Lee's head kick looked like that one was blocked. Oh, big elbows. Look at Oh, huge right hand. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Get over when he throws that kick. How about Wait, those five minutes? minutes? All 
All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned. A huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. You ready? You ready? Huge block there. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily win. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Look at the turn and that kick. A oh, single collar tie here. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Lee gets up, but he looks dazed. He looks confused. That right hand hurt him a little bit. And really starting to make these shots count. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Lee. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the last oh! stages of this fight. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Good sequence of kicks there by Lee. Big kick land. Kick right under that right elbow. Straight right, he misses. We got him with his hips into that kick. Unable to connect with the rush. And just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. <laughs> yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found a shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. All right, Bruce Buffer is in there with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 40 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout. Now there will be no shutting that.